<coughs> All right. So got lunch. One short video on its way to about halfway right now. YouTube excellence. Because YouTube is excellent. It just pisses excellence. It's like Ricky Bobby. Let's go into that for a second. Excellence. Oh, geez. Now, I have a saying that I, I use at work. So, for those who don't know, I facilitate new hire orientations at a strip resort. And I'll say it, the best resort on the strip. But anyhow, one of our core values as a corporation is excellence. So I will go on, go out and we'll talk about excellence. And I say, now who gets up in the morning and says, I want to be mediocre. I strive to be average. Usually gets a few laughs and then some smart ass goes, yeah, that's me. <coughs> to which I go, and here's an application for Caesars Entertainment. That's competition. Any yeah, competition, yeah. And, and I got friends that work over there, so I tease. I tease our sister properties, too. I tease. Especially mine. But I think it is a goal of everybody to want to be the best they can. Because you're the best. All right. Yeah. Sweep the leg, Johnny. All right. So, we just finished having lunch. And we went to Raisin Cane's. Again. Went Again. to that yesterday. It's so, a great place. We like Raisin Cane's. Uh, what we like about it is the chicken fingers are really good. Now, by the way, I, I don't like the name Chicken Fingers. Chickens do not have fingers. They have wings. They do have wings. Thank you, Ben. Ben gets it. He knows. Probably because they take the thing from the wings to make a finger. Now they take it from other parts. They're chicken tenders. But anyhow. Chicken strips. Whatever. It's good. It's 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 pretty good. Fries and are good. Sauce. I've been going there for almost four years since I moved back out here to Las Vegas. And one thing I've noticed about Raising Cane's is they have an exuberance a, a over-the-top friendliness and helpfulness, which I don't think is made up. I think it is truly sincere. Most of the time, yes. And today, we walked in, and the place was packed, jam-packed. We sent Ben to go find us a table. Ben, did you find us a table? No. No, the place was full. Yep, that's, that's well, true. Well, by so, the time we ordered... Well, so we ordered... And we went and found a table for two, but there's three of us, obviously, because there's Ben. Yes. And this gentleman who was at a booth saw us. He's like, hey, we can swap tables. I'm like, oh, bless your heart. Thank you. That was awesome. Yes, so, if you're watching this, thank, thank you. Thank you again. Um, that was great. Faith in humanity restored. Yes. Well, partially. We don't have that much faith in humanity. No. We've seen the Kardashians. You know, your business partners. Shut it. Just saying, my property doesn't shut it because we are classy. You don't have dolphins either, so bite me. No. Anyhow, so here's where things went awry, abyss. I went up to. Vocabulary. Yeah, I didn't get past the A's. Um. Anyhow, that was self-effacing. There, you get it. Awry, abyss. So we're stopped knowing what Busta looks like. Anyhow, so I go up to get ketchup for my french fries because... He likes ketchup. He doesn't dip them <coughs> into the cane sauce. Uh, but there's not enough cane sauce. That's the problem. He doesn't use his cane sauce. Yeah, and who had it? You did, Alex. Yeah, thank you. So I didn't have access to it. So it wasn't going to happen. You could have asked. So I go up to get ketchup, and their dispenser has ketchup under pressure. Because it's a dispenser, not just a, you know, pump. And I get one of the little paper cups full. And as I go to get the second one, so much pressure comes out, because it's at the end of the container, it shoots the container out of my hand and sprays ketchup all over my shorts. Okay, that's fine. 
the employee comes up and says, oh, are we out of ketchup? And I'm like, yeah, and it just blew up all of my shorts. And he says, I'll go make sure we refill the ketchup. Nothing about, oh, sorry about your shorts. Do you need a rag to help clean up? Do you, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't looking for a, a handout. No, we, I was we, looking we for an acknowledgement. No, and I wouldn't have taken it. I was looking for an acknowledgement. Oh, man, I'm sorry that happened. It's offering something that... Just the apology. And that didn't happen. So for the first time in... Four years. Nearly four years, I had a negative experience that immediately followed a positive experience. However, the positive experience was involving a fellow guest. So... Today, I'm slightly disappointed by Raising Cane's. Now, the upside is they're building a new location near us, next to Tommy's. Another great place. Tommy's is awesome. Um, if you go to L.A. or go to Vegas, go to Original Tommy's. The best Good food. The best chili burgers ever. Even chili. They got chili dogs, too. I've never had a chili dog. Neither have I. And your grandfather raves about the tamales. I find the tamales to be average. But the burgers are incredible. Like, never frozen beef. Anyhow, enough of the plugs. Fresh yeah. chili. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to Raising Cane's open the location, despite my experience today. So, there, I've said it. Moving on. All right. And we just passed, you can probably see it in the background, the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. I didn't go here. No. You're not going to turn here. Why would you go the long way? I'm still drinking from my King's Cup. Okay, free refills. Yeah, if I go back, they probably won't give me a refill. You'd be surprised. True enough. Anyhow, um, so we're now going to go somewhere else today. There's some kind of exhibit over at Luxor that is closing and... Um, Tits Luxor is one of our sister properties of our employers. MGM Inch Resorts International. Yeah. We're going to uh, use our employee freebie by going there. Yes. So, check it out. You know? Why not? <clears throat> In the words of John Blutarski, don't cost nothing. It's called the movie Animal House. Yeah. You're almost a college student. I am a college student. I'm sure I got Have you taken schedule. your first college class? Not yet. You're not a college student yet. You've enrolled. Technically, technically I have taken a college class. Joseph Baldwin Academy. AP classes. Yeah, I can take AP too. Not that kind of P. You're going to need to get over a lane past that light. You're going to turn it on Mandalay Bay. Okay. Just saying. Yeah. Now this is kind of rare for us. We don't actually, we typically don't drive Las Vegas Boulevard part of the strip to go park. Well, we do drive Las Vegas Boulevard. We don't drive the strip part of Las Vegas Boulevard. Which, by the way, not all of Las Vegas Boulevard is the Strip. So those of you who are not from Las Vegas or do not know this, uh, do not visit here, um, yeah, you need to let him go past you because you're not going to win this one. Or her, whatever. It. Whatever. All right. So Las Vegas Boulevard is a long road. It goes all the way out to, with a little interruption, to Prim. Let's get in the left lane. <clears throat> but it is only the Strip from Strat? Yeah, just north of Sahara Avenue all the way down to Russell Road. Well, actually just past Russell Road. I'd, I'll say the strip starts at the sign. Yeah. Sign to Stratosphere. That is the strip. That's what? Five miles, roughly? Something like that. Yeah, it's not... It's Sunset not, is not the strip. No. Sunset is the other side of the airport. It's adjacent, too. It's strip adjacent. Uh, but it's still Las Vegas Boulevard. Perpendicular to? 
at you, Mr. Vocabulary. <coughs> you know. Yeah. Who I'm, are you trying to impress? I'm more than just a pretty face. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you too. But now I have these coughs, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't a fucking cough. That was to a cough. Yeah, turn your head. I get coughs. I'm sorry. Hey, Walter White. I'm not cooking anything. Actually, if he were to shave his head, wouldn't he look like Walter White? With or without the glasses? I think you took the lenses out to make it more so. Comment below what you think. I, I honestly want to know. He went like Walter, we went as, we went as Walter White and Jesse Pinkman for Halloween last year. And I, I already know who I was for that time. Yeah, he was Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. We're gonna wreck it! <laughs> and I already know... Speaking that. of wreck it, you almost wrecked your damn shoelace, Ben. Yeah. So Ben's putting his shoes on, he's like, oh, this is a mess, I can't get it untangled. It was a knot that was that big, or size around of, of a dime. Oh. So no, no, straight. After the tunnel, you'll turn left. Okay. So it was the size of a dime. I had to take out my pocket tool and get the screwdriver out to pry. He kept pulling it tighter, trying to undo it. He said tool. You're a tool. Here's You're a feeling like fixed feeling. So was I like fix it, feel it, Sarah? Rough, wreck it, Ralph? Yeah, he was. Does that make me Vanellope von Schwitz? No, that would make you King Candy. Have some candy. Or more like Turbo. Turbo Tasket. I already know a good voice for my character, for my villain. I would put for my film. Yeah, once you write the movie, then we'll start pitching that on our YouTube channel. How's that for a deal, Ben? Yeah, you and me are both gonna be movie <sighs> pr producers yeah. or creators. All right. Left. Don't honk your horn at us, cabbie. Left. Because up ahead it splits, and I don't know which way it splits, so you're better off here because you can always move to the right easier than to the left. Yes. To the left, to the left. And I know what my villain's name would be for my movie. Right. What would your villain's name be? Alec Saltman. He's Alex got, Saltman. He's got an ugly face. And he's got ugly hands and ugly feet. Ugly hands and ugly feet. Yeah, I mean, he's got no feet. <sighs> and he just wears rubber How does he have ugly feet with he has no feet? I just, I meant to say he has no feet. And he just only wears his just rubber boots. So how does, he, how does he wear boots without no feet? He just slips them on through the little hole. The little rounded part of his ankles. Sure What's his nickname? Peg? <laughs> no, his nickname will be Lucky. Lucky. I would on uh, yeah. It sounds like <laughs> and like he would be he reveals his true nature until later in the film. 